This is Blue Dolphin with the Hall Plate Security Channel, and in this video, we're going to be getting into the Advanced Potion Making Pico CTF Forensics Challenge. Let's talk about it. Jumping right into things here, the description reads Ron just found his own copy of Advanced Potion Making, but it's being corrupted by some type of spell. Help him recover it. And what's the solve rate's very high, 97%, so that's awesome. It's not gonna be anything too esoteric here or eccentric. All right, let's download this file. Let's go ahead, take a look at what we got. I'm just gonna open it up with the GUI first because I'm really not sure what I'm about to get into. Okay, <laughs> we don't know what it is. Well, let's use a terminal here to really get into things. And I'll just jump over to the... With the file transferred here, let's go ahead, run the file command. It's a, oh, it's a file that says data, that's really helpful. Let's run strings, I feel like... What is this, 100 points? Okay. Oh, I see. So at the end, you see I end? That means we're dealing with a, uh, a file, just a PNG file. So I bet at the start, we're gonna see I H I dar. Not what I was expecting to see. Did I type that command wrong? No. Or, <coughs> excuse me. Let me open up a hex editor here and take a look. I have a feeling, let's see, do I bless? Hashtag blessed. Yes, okay. So this is definitely a image forensics file because we have the IHDR at the start here. So let me just double check to see what the header is supposed to be. So to keep this simple, we're just gonna start with the magic number first for a PNG file, which is 8954E47. And we can already see there's a bit of an issue here. So we have 8950 and then it gets wonky. Four, this is supposed to be an E. Whoops, not what I wanted to do, replace that. This will be a four E and then the next byte will be 47, and this should read PNG. So let's save this. I don't For 100 points, I don't think it's that simple or it would have flown through tunnel vision, which is one of the other challenges. But let's just give it a shot just to see if, where we're at, if anywhere. Jumping over to downloads. Nope. I have moved this file into the Pico gym. Oh! Oh. That's too, yeah, I did nothing. That's quite unfortunate, it just didn't work. Um, there we go, can't be opened. Okay, so there are, are still some issues. So let me take a look at the header. Okay. I'm going to, we have a bit of an issue here because I'm looking at the PNG headers and after our initial header, we're supposed to have a zero D, which represents something. Oh, I know. I think I actually made a mistake because I, I don't know. Let me pause the video. I accidentally appended and I was supposed to overwrite. All right, well, let's go ahead and open up a IHDR file header and just do this again and then it should work. And we know it's for a PNG because we saw the PN. All right, this is only part of the header. I wanna see, I don't know what's going on. I wanna see the whole header. Oh, here we go, I found it in images. This looks fine. Let's shrink this down. Take a look at what we have. Now I think I need to turn on insert, so I'm not sure. Okay, so we have the first part, uh, yeah, kind of right, but this needs to be an E. There we go, we have insert on, so this should actually work. 
So the next part will be not 67, but 47. And then that's just the PNG signature. So we complete this with zero, it's actually hard to read that. Zero D, zero A, which we have one A, zero A, perfect. And then what does this say? Let's see if I can make this image. Oh, this one's just not dim and hard to read. Okay, so then from here, it's just gonna be the length. So I don't think we need to mess around with the length. If we do, we'll come back to it. Actually, maybe, I don't think. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's, I think we do actually have to change this to zero D. I just think all these characters don't really amount to anything specific. Okay, so the next type is going to be chunk type that we're looking at here. And the chunk type actually looks fine. And then after that, we have width, which zero, zero, again, we're... But mm, I don't think we have to change width because only the last two parts of it have been modified are, yeah, like it's not, it's not so far off from the bits and width. I think it's fairly close. Whereas length was just totally out to lunch. There's clearly a deviation. So now we have height. Height is going to be, again, uh, this seems fine. Now we're looking at bit depth, which is eight. Color type. So this is a two, so I don't, let's make that a six. Actually, I don't, there's different color types. I don't really know what the difference is. Um, I'm just not, you know what? Yeah, let's make it a six. And then compare zero, zero, zero. Then we have a CRC checksum, which I don't think we have to really worry about because this isn't, okay. This is kind of a long, or just a shot in the dark. Let's see if this works. I'm not sure if it will. We can do PNG check, I believe. This is probably gonna take me a couple iterations, so to apologize if it does, but let's see, I'm fairly confident in this. As long as it's not like tunnel vision. All right, I wasn't able to install PNG check. That's unfortunate, but fine. Let's go over here, take a look. Doesn't look like it worked. So we have a CRC error, fair enough. Chunk header, so let's actually go back and take a look at that. All right, uh, uh, I'm gonna quickly change the color type. Maybe that was it, I don't know, I doubt it. Let's try though. Oh. I guess we can try There's a tool, I think it's called Stagsaw, but I think I have to download it. And all it does is just throw different colors at an image. Stagsaw online. Let's see if there's an online tool. Might be easier. Yeah, we have a pre-solve, we have whatever this is. Let's try a pre-solve again. Otherwise, we'll just find it, do it ourselves. But I'm not too sure. Yeah, I guess we'll just have to see if this works. I don't know. Not really sure what they're looking for. This doesn't register as a image file. File not found, that's odd. All right, well, let's just get Stag Solve. Stag Solve download. Jump over to the wizard here and look, wonderful, we can use wget. Awesome, so let's go ahead and just do sudo wget the Stag Solve JavaScript. And all this is gonna do is take our image and just again, blast it with tons of different colors. Looks like it worked. Let's, as they say, change per missions on stake solve jar and then make directory bin and move stake solve into bin. And then jump into bin and run stake solve jr. 
What did I do? Let's change permissions on it first. Oh, we're gonna have to pseudo that. I'm just trying to open the file now. It's not working. Yeah. That's not ideal. Huh. I thought I would do... Is it dash jar? No, it actually thinks it's an invalid or corrupt file. That's quite unfortunate. Let's try the famous A pre solve. See if this works online. Oh, that's right. It's not going to because hmm, it doesn't recognize it as an image. Perhaps we change it to .png. Yeah, kind of. It's trying to upload. I don't think it's working very well though, but. Let's go ahead, let's go back and do stake solve online. Hey, I know there's tools online to do this. I've done this before. So I'm just gonna start opening other ones. Oh, okay, it looks like a pre solve came in clutch and sure enough, here's our flag, I hope. Wiz for try, okay, very fun. Let's put that in. Flag was incorrect. Oh, oh, it's wizard, wizardry. I see, I see. Wizardry leaked. Oh, what am I doing? Wizardry. I don't know what I was thinking. Obviously I need to, uh, no, nothing. Let's put this side by side here. I just wonder if I have it back. I can't pull that out of here. So wiz, oh, wizardry, right. If I could learn to spell, that would also help. There we go. Okay. That was pretty fun. I should know advanced potion making. Obviously it's wizardry. All right, good stuff. Well, looks like we still got several more challenges to go. So thanks everyone for tuning in. See you on the next video.